Good evening and welcome to our committee meetings for tonight, which is Wednesday, July 1st. And I can tell it's getting to be summer from here and there. Um, we have three committee meetings tonight. Hopefully they will not be too long. And I will call, it's Fire, Public Works, and Telecom. And I will call on Fire Chairman, Commissioner Bernheim, please. Well, thank you very much, President Rogan at the Township of Lower Marion and the Borough of, of Norbert. Uh, this type of agreement is similar to that which we have done before, and it is something which is actually required by our code in that we have a cooperation arrangement with the Borough of Norbert, wherein we provide assistance to them and vice versa in our firefighting. But it is not memorialized, so what we have is an agreement which sort of takes that which is de facto in place and puts it into print, which co is consistent with best practices and something that we have done before. And in short version, it gives protocol for what occurs if Narberth needs our assistance or we need Narberth's assistance, who is to make decisions in that regard, what happens on the scene, who is in charge at, at certain periods of time. There is no compensation which flows back and forth between the borough and uh, L Lower Marion. Uh, there are provisions regarding indemnification, and one of the provisions in here which exists is something which I think sets our fire department apart from many other throughout the state, is the qualifications that we have for our firefighters. It is above that which is required elsewhere, but Narberth complies with that, Lower Marion complies with that, which enhances not merely the safety for those who they are rescuing or the homes. A traffic count and analysis of nine intersections throughout the Marion Kimwood area of the township. This is for discussion only and um, we'll be at a later point looking at the impact of the possible new traffic patterns that were studied. Hi. Uh, we're, uh, the purpose of this evening is to review um, the uh, traffic study, as you know, in, in advance of the uh, project that's in the CIP for the, um, they're calling it a road diet uh, on Montgomery Avenue, uh, to uh, basically take it from four lanes, two lanes in each direction, to one lane in each direction with a center turn lane, and then develop streetscapes along there with bump outs and furniture and trees and things like that. Well, the first thing we need to do is really see what the impact to the traffic in that area, both coming in, going out, and in it is. So that's the purpose of tonight, is to review the uh, traffic study that's been completed by Brian Keeveney and Pannoni Associates. So I'll turn it over to him to go further. Uh, good evening. And uh, as Mr. Cannon um, indicated, uh, I'm here tonight just to summarize where we stand in our evaluation of Montgomery Avenue with respect to uh, potentially converting uh, a portion of the roadway from the four existing lanes uh, to a three-lane section, commonly referred to as a road diet. Uh, the three-lane section would then consist of one through lane in each direction uh, with a center left turn lane. Um, effectively, the, the road diet concept, uh, as I mentioned up here on the, on the slide, is uh, the implementation of a center left turn lane uh, which then provides additional space on the outer areas of the roadway that can be used for a number of things, uh, either bicycle or pedestrians. Mm -hmm. What, you know, from a practical point of view or a traffic engineering point of view, what would be the, the narrowest part of, of Montgomery Avenue where we could do that? Like, I've always thought of it as being important, obviously, in the business district, which is essentially from Winding Way uh, to Bryn Mawr. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of starting that pattern of, of a of a three lane, you know, one way each way in the continuous turn lane, where, where could that realistically or on a practical level start and stop? Well, I, I think it could, um, we could set the limits of that, that three lane section 